Hello, everyone has spirit. Praise God. My name is Christine. If you don't know my name, I'm saved. I love Jesus as my personal savior. He saved me when I was lost. He saved me when I was lost. He found me when I was nobody. He found me when nobody can accept me. He gave me life. He gave me everything I have. He gave me the executions. He gave me life I have today. And he still sits on his throne for everything I ask. He will give me. He will not forsake me. Jesus will not abandon me. Jesus will always come and rescue me when I need him. He will not abandon me anytime I ask his help. And he will never put me to shame. That is my God. That is my Jesus. And I know as he died on the cross, and he was sacri he sacrificed his own life. He was beaten. He was put a, a crown of thorn in his head. And he didn't say anything. He didn't insult anything. And he said, forgive them. For they don't know what they are saying. And if you read the Bible, you understand that. It's saying everything you need. And also one thing I want to tell people who are preaching. And they want people to send their money or to do something. Let me tell you. Jesus said freely i give it to you freely you receive so if you're not giving your service for free you're not of god because it's not what you're supposed to do you're not supposed to ask money you know yes people bless you because when you do good things People will send the money through to you in other way. But you don't have to force people. When because these days, if you want prayers eh, in some countries, they will ask you for amount of money if you want them to pray for you. You want them to do something for you, you have to give amount of money so that they can do that for you. They are doomed because Jesus said, Freely I give it to you, freely you shall give. I don't know why the came with this idea of asking money whenever they want to do some the service of God. They are cursed. Even if you are you're big or you're millionaire right now because of many people give you. Let me tell you, the time you die is the time you, you see God will punish you. God will punish you dearly. You know? Yeah, you just keep smiling in front of people in the church asking and every time you want them to bring the tithe you want them to bring the amount even they cannot afford when they want to come for the offering you want them to come with the amount of money are you crazy in your head or what yes i'm not supporting that and i'll never support it because you want people to come with the offering which they cannot have and remember that woman jesus talked about he had nothing in his house he just brought the scent hmm? the only thing he has left in the house so you should accept whatever people offer they put in offering because you should not dream it if you want the blessing of god if you have money let me tell you the judges judgment day is waiting for you yes i'm warning you yes me i fear god more than anything i fear god and i know god is the one who is, can punish you dearly can make you suffer can make you pay for what you are doing and he says you know not everybody call jesus not everybody call my name we will enter the kingdom of heaven and not everybody who called jesus is the follower of jesus that is what people should know so if you are out there and you want to be christian you want to be saved and some people have a bad examples of christian don't 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 refuse to be a born again christian don't refuse to be born again christian because those they have their reward at the, the at the judgment day you just follow jesus do your own part and i will tell you something if people you something you might do buy your own bible this is the only truth this is the truth this is the truth. This is the truth. Our Bible is the truth you can find. Our Bible is everything you will find. This thing, this Bible, this is the only thing which has truth. Not human being, not everybody. This is what makes us to talk the truth. If you don't see the truth in the Bible, let me tell you, there is darkness. If you don't see, if you see somebody is coming in a preacher, he is not preaching of the Bible. He is preaching only good things. And uh, he is saying, oh, you'll be blessed. 
I say this every day. The horrors, even even in the actually the Facebook or yeah, most of the time people say, yeah, you receive money in your bank account. Oh, you're going to you're going to see. Eh, hey, what are you going to see if you have not prayed? Can you receive something? I ask you a question. Why are you telling people lies? Why? 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 How they, will they receive money in their bank account if they don't have a connection to get the money? Let me tell you, you are doomed if you don't you do those things. I don't care how much you are. You are. You are high. You are me. I. I'm telling you this moment. Sometimes I do this. I only person one person who watch this, but he is blessed. But for you, don't watch until the end. You are doomed to because you want to hear some good news. You want to hear you'll be blessed. And, and you don't repent your sins. You don't repent what you did. You don't humble yourself to God. You expect me to tell you you'll be blessed. You cannot be blessed if you don't humble yourself to God. If you don't kneel down and ask God for forgiveness, you cannot receive any miracle. You need to ask God for forgiveness, you have to humble yourself and you have to be down on everything if you want to receive any miracle. You cannot receive miracle if you just there. You just there. Yeah? You want to ask miracle while you don't you don't pray. You want to ask to receive miracle because you 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 go to the prayers, eh, to the forfeit. You just you cannot pray for yourself, you want them to pray for you. Let me tell you. I gone through this, and that's why I'm telling you. Only yourself can save yourself. Only your prayer for your heart. Don't wait for that somebody to pray for you. you. Yes, they will pray for you. But you have to do your part too. If you want to be blessed. If you want to receive blessing, you need to do your part. You need to pray for your part. You need to do something for your part. You need to provide your heart and your soul and everything you do so that God can receive you, can receive your prayers. You need to tell God and angels to receive you and take prayers to God. You need to tell to to cleanse the hair, to cleanse the environment so that your prayer can be heard by God. If you expect any prophet or any prayer, any priest or any preacher to pray for you every time, you don't pray for yourself. You need to pray for yourself. Yes, they'll pray for you, but also you need to pray for yourself because they have a lot of people to pray for. You need to pray for yourself. And when they remember you, they'll put you in their prayers. I don't mean they don't pray for you, but also you need to pray for yourself because in your heart you need to cleanse yourself so that you can pray, so that you can receive that miracle. You cannot receive that miracle if you don't pray for yourself. You receive the miracle if you continue praying and believing what your pastor is saying or your preacher or your, the prophet or whatever they have. Yes, we should believe them, but we should also pray. That is the only thing I can tell you. If you are you're watching this and you are reaching this point, you'll be blessed because you, you learn one thing or another. If you have been depending on the prayers for the priest, for the pastors, and you don't pray for yourself, let me tell you something. It is not enough. Yes, they will pray for you, but it means you need to pray for yourself too. You need to, be, to bring yourself to God. And has God to help you, to give you the freedom so that you can be able to pray and receive the miracle. That is what I'm telling you this morning. Because we are born again Christian. We love Jesus as our personal Savior. He saved us. He has given us right. Let me tell you. As I, 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 I saw a comment yesterday. I was saying something in another, another person. And I said, I don't care. There's nobody watch my videos. As long as I do my, my work, I will get the reward from God. You know, that is what, if you watch your breast, if you don't, let me tell you, God will reward me according to what I'm doing. So that is what I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. You're not watching. I'm not worrying. There's no views. Let me tell you, I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part and that is, and I'm telling you what to do. And let me leave this before I go to prayer. Revelation um, chapter 5, verse 9, it says, And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the crow and to open its seal, because you are slain, and with the blood you purchased for God, person from every tribe, a language, and people, and nation.
That is the Bible verse of today. And and it's 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 what you should always read, you know. You should always have something. And and I'm telling you this, that is the wonderful thing. And that is Jesus. That is the this is the revelation about Jesus, you know. He you know, and it talks about nations and any tribe and language. So those people say Jesus is for for, for this tribe, you are wrong. Jesus is for everybody. And if you receive him, you have life. You have eternal life. And you have life after death. It, let me tell you, that is what you should do. Receive Jesus in your life and he will give you something good and you will live to testify. And let me tell you, me Christian here, I'm thinking and I'm praying and I'm saying, Jesus, I'm brave. There will be a miracle. And the miracle will come at this right time. I don't just... I don't just... um. I don't just uh, think it will come tomorrow or today. I just think it is there and it's it's going to be right. It's going to be true. It's going to be testimony, you know, it, because you don't know. It's, this is how it goes. If you want a miracle to, for the last, the miracle that lasts long, you have to be patient. Wait on God. That is what the Bible says. Wait on God in the Psalms. That is to say, those who wait on God will be blessed. Abdullah, that is what the, the Bible says. If you want to read read Psalms, you know I also read Psalms ninety one or also number Psalms that seven. If you are praying and you want to confess, there are those verses and also uh, verse that seven to that eight Psalms. It also good for you to read. So read those things. Do, don't read only good things in the Bible. Also the things which are warning you. When you are doing good, bad things, or you are trying to avoid bad things, read every word of Bible because it will teach you something and you shall learn about what you want. You know, when, let me tell you something else. You know, the, God asked Solomon. As Solomon was a, you know, Solomon was a descendant of Jesus, if you don't, you don't know you, because he has come from David. So, Solomon was asked, in his, you know, it, it, people don't understand this. Solomon was dreaming, if you read the Bible. You know, there's, there's sometimes you may talk with God in dreams that you don't know. So, Solomon was dreaming and he said, he, ha he was asked, what do you want me to give you? You know, Solomon didn't think of money, didn't think of preachers, like the way people now are looking, human beings are crazy right now. They want money more than God, you know, more than wisdom. But let me tell you, Solomon only asked for wisdom. And that is what he received. So, don't ask for something which can finish, can end, or can. It's not for lasting long. Money cannot last long. I'm telling you. One day you can see yourself. You are in. You, you are. You are bankrupt, or you don't have anything. Let me tell you. Ask God for something which will be everlasting, and wait for the miracle. That is everlasting. That is what I'm telling you this morning. Let me tell you, Jesus sits on the on the throne, he sits on the right hand of God. And he's there always listening to us. Because he says, I'm in Bible, he says, I'm true wine, vine, I'm true vine. And every fruit bears fruit. Every branch in my 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 vine bears fruit. Let me tell you. You know, he says in the Bible that when the sword throws a taste. It can never, it can be, it is worthless, it cannot be used. So, don't be the salt which is not tasting. Be a salt which has taste, which people want to listen, which people want to taste and to have that food in their mouth. Let me tell you, the judgment, judgment day doesn't choose. And God, when He judges, He doesn't choose the poor or the rich. He just judges the right way. Let me tell you, as this morning, as you go to a race, as you come and watch this, let me tell you something. I'm proud of myself. I think I have to do what I'm supposed to do. I don't be afraid. I know God will do something. God will make a way where it seems known. And I'm telling you this morning, you better watch out. For the for one day, I'll, I'll come with a testimony. For one day, you see, she was talking to herself, but see where she has come from. I don't do my work in vain. 
it will bear fruit one day. Let me tell you. And as I pray, I always pray for a miracle. And I pray for your miracle too, so that we can receive and thank God for what he has done for us. And we can thank God for not abandoning us in the time of need. In the every time we need Jesus, he's right there for us. And I'm so happy. You know, I'm so happy this morning. I said I cannot do anything without doing this, without saying the word of God. Let me tell you. You know, Jesus says, in the in the, there are many harvest there are many there are not many harvesters in his in his garden so we do we don't say there are many preachers we are many pastors no me i'm not a pastor i'm just a one of i'm just a a, a saint a, <laughs> i'm just a, doing the word of god that is what i'm i'm here to and let me tell you um this is what i dreamed about many years ago and i'm just doing it my uh, i'm just doing it and i hope one day god will take me somewhere and i will witness that when you watch this and let me tell you something god loves you and he loves you and let me pray father in the mighty name of jesus i come before you this morning thank you god for what you have done into my life thank you for giving me strength to continue doing this even if not many people come and watch this father i know god when the right time comes they will flow like star of heaven they will flow like sand in the sea and i will not be able to recognize where i have come from i will not even remember how many times i have not people have not watched these videos father the miracle i need is you will send People who are thirsty for your word to to watch this and receive the the what they need to know and what they need to understand. Oh Jesus, I know, Father, I am here and tested, like like John when he was just preparing a way, and I know, Father, I'm doing what the Holy Ghost will teach me. I'm not going to do of my own things. I don't going to I don't want to do on my own wish, on my own will. Father, let your Holy Spirit always guide me in each and every time I'm here and preaching and saying and talk, teaching and doing something. Father, I know you direct me and you will do something about this and people will receive miracle and they will they will they will praise your name. Thank you, Jesus, because I know I've received my miracle and I can testify the word of the of your word. Father, I know those people who don't know you, they'll know you and they'll understand that the God I serve is the everlasting and is the living God. The God I serve is our holy God. The God I serve is everlasting. The God I serve is a able God. The God I serve is never forsaking me, nor abandoning me, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I know and I believe Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He, he rose again on that day and he sits on the right hand of God. My Father, I know Jesus is sitting there and he is always doing what he does. And because God, I know, only you can do what no man can do. Do what only you can do, God, and you will praise your name. We will praise your name. Somebody is dancing for you. They don't know which way to go. They don't know where to find you. They don't know how to get to you. But Jesus, find, let them find a way to reach to you. To reach to a way to they know you more than more and more. Do not them be discouraged of what they are going through right now. Do not let them fall apart. Because, my Father, they don't reach to the point where they want to be. Father, teach them to wait on you and every day to, to know, God, you are able, Father. Nothing is impossible with you, God. I trust in your wonderful and abundant wonder of God. Thank you, Father, for teaching me to wait on you. Thank you, Father, for teaching me to rely on you. Thank you, Father, for I know Jesus died on the cross and he said, it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. And thank you, Jesus, for whatever, whatever you have done into my life. I thank you, my Father. I'm living testimony, and I will live to testify every day of my life. Bless somebody who watched this. Bless them. Let them know God, your true God, that whatever they wait on and whatever they pray and believe, 
they will receive in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever they ask, they will receive as the mother seven verse chapter seven verse seven says. Ask is your given, seek you'll find and knock the door shall open for you. And Jeremiah twenty nine verse three twenty nine Reverend says, For I have planned for you, planned for good for, for good and not for evil. And he says also Come to me, call on to me, I will answer you, and I will show you things you have never seen. This is what my father I'm talking about. Let us know. Let that secret things we don't know, we want to find out. And that we can praise your word of name. Thank you, Jesus. Continue blessing us. Continue blessing us. Continue giving us miracles. And let us praise your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Our Father, what in heaven, I will be your name. The kingdom come, they will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us his day and day bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As he forgives us who trespass against us. Do not temptation, but deliver us from evil for the power and the kingdom are yours forever and ever. Amen. Be blessed, and please remember, there is nothing for free. God will give you that miracle. In Jesus' name.